While investors are constantly watching for the next positive comment regarding the stocks they own in order to maintain their optimism, occasionally hearing from the not-so-positive analysis might help them see potential factors that they might be missing. Notoriety short seller Jim Chanos, who made money off of Buran's collapse a few years ago, has long been a bear on Tesla and is now giving free advice to Tesla bulls, advising them that the company's best days are ahead of them. Welcome back to Tesla tomorrow, everyone. Jim Chamos, the founder of Technical Associates and an American investment manager, has previously forecast that Tesla's growth may slow down when competitors catch up and it runs out of new consumers. He said that an automobile firm was a stock for hopes and dreams and that investors could soon have to face reality. His opinion is in light of the recent spike in the price of Tesla's stock. In January, Tesla's stock price has increased significantly following the company's catastrophic $700 billion loss in 2022. From a split-adjusted 30 at the beginning of 2020, Tesla shares rose to over 400 at their top in November, and then they fell again in 2022. Nevertheless, a number of variables have caused the odd to bounce back channels. 1. He claims that a major portion of Tesla's price is dependent on established belief. The company's current issue, in his opinion, is that its CEO spends too much time on Twitter and not enough time on the automaker. Before we continue, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification if you enjoy this kind of content. His gym channel went into further detail about this in this video. Bell continues to monitor Ted's light gym channels in order to stay up to date on everything. Tesla is currently under a lot of pressure due to rising competition, margin pressure, and substantial pressure from the electric vehicle maker. The well-known short seller in channels and company founder claimed that Tesla's margins will suffer since China, its largest market, is currently the weakest. He claims that everyone overlooks the fact that Tesla lost money manufacturing vehicles in the U.S. during 2019. The company's margins didn't really take off until they opened in Shanghai, where sales increased significantly. He went on to say that the automaker sector is becoming more competitive, and he believes that this is mostly because there are more options available now. China stated that although the bears were mistaken about the level of competition, he still believes it is increasing. He continues to believe that there is more competition. The CEO of the business also brought up the fact that, despite the fact that Tesla's vehicles are highly priced for that market, the company seems to make the majority of its earnings in China. Due to the growing competition and the possibility of running afoul of the law, Tesla's growth potential in China may be constrained. In addition, he drew attention to a larger issue facing businesses today. Many of them have flawed business plans, just like they did during the dot-com bubble, and they close. Extremely low interest rates to generate revenue, the investor also discussed the potential consequences of the recent excess in speculation. To stop more losses, thefts, and scams, Jinchanos called for tougher regulation of cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens in addition to a crackdown on dishonest accounting practices. To make matters worse, Chalos called for the collapse of Tesla's profit margins, the entire cryptocurrency market, and the economy as a whole. Charters made some audacious forecasts about Tesla's cryptocurrency and the economy at large in a prior interview. He highlighted the potential for Tesla's profit margins to drop, which could lead to the collapse of the cryptocurrency market and possibly even the SB. Though there are several of his forecasts in the Charles interview, his ones on Tesla have to be the most noteworthy. The fund manager primarily asserted that Tesla's present profit margins, which exceed the industry average, will decline to par with the rest of the sector. Additionally, Shadows contended that the market for luxury cars is beginning to contract for Tesla. The job market is still robust, but the market's future is still very much up in the air due to ongoing inflationary concerns. One cannot overlook the foundations of Tesla. Regarding Tesla's cyber truck, Ross Durer is very upbeat, despite not having begun production yet. Tesla is working non-stop to prepare the cyber truck for full-scale production, which is expected to begin in 2023. Where the Tesla cyber truck finally makes its way onto the market, this will undoubtedly be one of its main selling qualities despite the fact that most people are very pessimistic about its future. Since the Tesla Cybertron is maybe the most unusual-looking car to appear on the road in a few decades, it will probably pique people's attention and increase interest in Tesla. Built for maximum durability and passenger safety, the Cybertruck is capable of crossing rivers, lakes, and even a pretty calm lake for short periods of time, according to Musk. According to Ross, Tesla will make enormous profits in 2023, as new products hit the market this year, he predicts a huge uptick in sales. Like Ross, 
Steve Wesley thinks that Tesla's Cybertruck and Semi-Truck will see enormous demand when they launch. According to the Future Fund founder, Gary Black thinks that Tesla's Cybertruck will be a significant initiative for the automaker. Sub-35000 automobiles are Tesla's second top priority behind the Cybertruck, which is expected to be the company's most significant and eagerly awaited electric vehicle. It's also critical to keep in mind that Tesla has the potential to surpass both Apple and Saudi Aramco as the largest corporation in the world at some point. Following the publication of Tesla's third quarter earnings for 2022, Musk gave investors hope for a positive Q4 and stated that the automaker is poised to surpass industry titans like Apple and Saudi Aramco. It was said that Tesla will eventually be worth more than the total value of the two businesses. He declared, I see a past for 10 that could be worth more than the combined value of Apple and Saudi Aramco. That being said, it does not guarantee that it will occur or be simple. To be honest, I believe it will be quite challenging, requiring a great deal of labor and some really innovative new items. Mass expansion is currently being examined constantly. Tesla is still on target to reach a 50% growth rate over the next few years and to sell more cars this year. Tesla may eventually attain its 50% growth in October if it keeps up its current pace of sales growth and continues to broaden its market internationally. The majority expressed their opinions that Tesla will surpass Apple and the oil giant Saudi Aramco in the future. However, Musk noted that he still thinks Tesla may be valued nearly twice as much as Saudi Aramco, despite the fact that getting to this valuation will be extremely challenging. The combined market capitalization of Apple and Saudi Aramco is almost $4.4 trillion, so if Musk is correct, Tesla's stock might reach extraordinarily high levels. Ron Barron, a supporter of Tesla, added that he concurs with Musk's previous remarks that Tesla may surpass Apple and Saudi Aramco put together implying a worth of over $4 trillion. Without a doubt, EVS are here. Thus, switching from gas to electric vehicles for government and commercial use will have a significant influence. The state of living around the world may greatly improve if automobiles like police cars, fire engines, mail trucks, school buses, city buses, and even construction equipment were made electric. Automobiles such as the Tesla Semi demonstrate their superiority over their gas and diesel-powered counterparts by being far less costly, easier to maintain, and significantly better for the environment. They are therefore a fantastic option for the future. Regarding Musk's participation in Tesla channels, he claimed that in addition to paying an excessive amount for the social media business, the new Toyota CEO would divert Musk's attention with the new venture. It's crucial to understand that, despite the fact that fitness channels don't think of Tesla as anything more than an automobile manufacturer, Elon Musk has painted for investors the ideal picture of the company encouraging them to remain consistently optimistic about EVs. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has already expressed his belief that people will view Tesla more as an AI robotics company in the long run than as a manufacturer of electric cars. According to CNN, investors view Tesla as a firm that is not in the energy, battery, or robotics industries. Musk, on the other hand, has a different viewpoint. He stated during Tesla's Q1 earnings call in 2021 that the firm is building the greatest hardware and software AI teams in the world. Musk went on to characterize the company's shares as a hopes and dream stock. It's clear from seeing the development of the automaker's technology that Tesla built them to address the issue of self-driving because the company seems to be achieving feats with self-driving that others are not. What are your thoughts on the channel's statements regarding Tesla? Please share them with us below. If you'd like to learn more about the company's recent activities, click the following video to watch it on your screen.